Hello everyone. So, terrible news. Okay, first, you may notice this setup is horribly different. I I do not have an integrated webcam with the PC, so I had to plug up my GoPro. And I recorded this before, actually. <clears throat> Don't mind filming them up there. I actually recorded this a little while ago. About, like, three seconds ago. Right. This is the the Rival AccuStrike Mirage or whatever. Cool, cool, the box. The box. Great. <clears throat> I did the thing, oh, get out the switchblade and everything. And something I accidentally did was I accidentally loaded in the magazine backwards. So, yeah. This is what it looks like normally. Nice. This is also really built for left, like right handed people. So you have the magazine release here, and every time you unleash the magazine, a, a rival round comes out, well almost every time. I don't know if that's a glitch or what. I need to stop looking at, at the PC. So yeah, and it's top prime, comes with a 10 round magazine, 10 AccuStrike rival rounds. When the slide's back, you cannot fire. You can pull the trigger and everything, but it doesn't fire. It's all around very red. After I loaded in the mag backwards, which this is what it looks like when you accidentally do that, you, you notice the only way you can tell is this is pointing forward, and you do not want that. And once you do that, you have to slam that thing. And all of that, all of those fell out. Every single one. <clears throat> all right, that's enough complaining. I was about to load it in backwards. When you load it right, it feels really good. You should practice loading on an empty magazine. Because since it has this tab, a little tab right there, pull that and the rounds shoot out. So, yeah. Man, I look awful with how red I am. But it, it took me a full 30 minutes, probably, to, to figure out how to, like, get the magazine out when it was backwards. But... How did that load? Anyways, so the way this works, you do that. Pretty hefty prime, pretty nice. But loading the bag. Nice, right? Sorry about this glare over my head though. I don't, I don't really care. Anyways, this is uh, what your sight picture is going to be like. Something like that. So, um, this is more of an arm brace than a stock. You could, you cannot, you cannot get a good cheek weld on that. I like that very much. So, you pull back. This. Um, I grab way too many. So, you can just kind of load your mags like that. This was 20 bucks at Walmart, just so you know. It comes with 10 of the AccuStrike rounds. Be careful when you're like loading it like this, because, see that, that's one already in the chamber. You, you don't really want that unless you want to double load it. So this is kind of annoying. Kind of. Slam that a little bit. What? What? What are you on about here? 
restrictor. slam down on it. I wasn't even hitting it that hard either, by the way. So, with this, you can technically have plus two in the chamber. Right. And then, <clears throat> this is really annoying, just kind of pop that out a little bit, and then you can pop one out. Cool, cool. Let's see how many loaded. Two. Loaded two. This thing is the double loading champion. <clears throat> um, what should I shoot? Um, <clears throat> this gun is really cool, by the way. Ah, but, yeah. Oh, oh that's cool, I guess. Little swing loop built in. Rail here, un almost unusable rail there. Oh wait, never mind. You're good. You're good. You can put some on that. Kind of fold that up would be my. Uh, there's, an, there's an almost in strike barrel attachment lug there. <clears throat> but I really hate that it just. <sighs> yeah, basically every time since it has that little thing right there, it kind of makes it impossible not to just get mad at it, right? You can do this, but you can't aim with it. The sight picture, 
actually is not bad. And it has a hop up. You can see the hop up. So it's little ridges right there. Wow. You probably cannot see them. There. Those serve to kind of like uh, deal with some of the gases, some of the air leaving the chamber so that it kind of doesn't like fly everywhere just randomly. So yeah. I like this little pull tab. I like it. I almost ripped it out at one point. But. I like it. Feels good. Trigger is nice and everything. I'm left handed, but I guess. Even with my other hand, that's actually kind of pretty easy. No, no, Dr. Film and M. I was aiming at the M. I hit the upper glove. Oh, it almost comes out. It almost came out at that point. Oh, there's another rail here. A rail here. You know, I'm going to test this right now. I'm done with all this. I really do love that system, though. I need to harp on that some more. Very nice, very nice. If you wanted to, you can take the... Oh, wait. You can take the one that was in the chamber and kind of finagle it to where it was. I'm making it worse. I was going to shove that back into the magazine, but now I double-loaded it. It has enough force to work and double feed and be perfectly fine, but it's not really designed to technically, I guess. Also, if you had a jam, this is where your this is where your jam clearing button is. You kind of push down on that, which is annoying. Just kind of bring that back. This is what it looks like when it's prime a little bit. So nice, let's see how tactical this can get. You cannot put a stock attachment on it. Oh, hold on. Let's see if it can take this mag, this kind of rip mag from. Oh, it can. Comparison. That's something like that. This holds 10 rounds, so I guess that's either a 10 or a 12. I honestly kind of like that a little, a little bit better. This is the one that came with a finisher. Let me grab that real quick. Come here, little fishy. Hear ye, hear ye. The finisher with a challenger mag. That is hilarious. Is it just this mag in particular? Oh, it is. Ain't it? This is the normal mag. Perfectly fine. Huh, cool. It's not as prominent, but it does. Oh, that that one didn't. Alright, eh, cool, whatever.
Basically, the Challenger is a better finisher. Is the whole gist. How many times does it take to a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight, nine? Oh, let's just give her a little bit more. Okay. Cool. Cool. Cool beans. Then pull back the jam thing. Cool. Cool. This thing has some major malfunctions, though. And. If you wanted, also you can kind of put your finger like that. It's just kind of, you know, the wrong way to do it. So. Should slide in there. That's wrong. This is right. love for there to be a spring return on that but you can't have everything right for 20 bucks pretty good for 20 bucks I must say also this is for right hand I went on I noticed that if you kind of grip it a bit harder you probably cannot see that, but the, the grip flexes. You may be able to... That's, that's like cracked plastic. There it is. Yeah, let's see how tactical this thing can get. This thing does not at all take normal uh, barrels. This this is one off of the long strike, and there's certainly no way that's going in. Give this little grip. That'll go on just fine. Yeah, we like that. And it is a Picatinny style from Nerf for once. Not bad. Let's see what kind of sights we can get on this. Going all out with this one. If you wanted to slide on site, that right there would stop you. And that's molded into the plastic. So there's no way to fix that. There's like no way.
Oh, this is not going to work at all. No. Not at all, is it? Oh, yeah, that is... Nope. That ain't going to work. <clears throat> so this is Picatinny. There's also... Oh, yeah, this won't work. These are rival rails, which are their own thing. So, won't work. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, eh, compatibility wise, I give it a 2. I give it a 2. Power wise, I probably give it a 4, 5, 6. Yeah, probably a 6. Ooh, let's go turn on the targets. Wouldn't that be fun? Get the curtain. Because I love wasting ammo. See... So let's get a full mag going here. That's about right. That's not right. Let's let's get a uh, 10, 11 shots, however many. This is iron sight test, and yeah, these iron sights are okay. <laughs> May double load it. A bit to the left. Okay. That one's probably my fault. Not bad. Number one, so we got a two. Two plus one is seven on that scale, anyways. Seven is definitely not bad. Accuracy better than most of my stuff. Better than most, but then again, that could just be my luck. Could be better, could be worse. I don't know. If you're left-handed, you're not going to hit the safety. Don't try it. So, you want to use that finger to do that. Kind of like you, you would use your middle finger on the right-hand side. But I'm not right-handed, so I like that. I like it a lot. 20 bucks at Walmart. I'd say it was worth it. There are some major flaws, I gotta say. It only comes with 10 rounds, one magazine, even though it is a really cool magazine, I gotta say, that has major flaws with how it loads. If you do this, you're probably gonna lose your rounds. One to two, maybe even three. The up top loading system it's cool, but you could get some like an Aeon Pro X for about that price, right? Yeah. This is really cool if you want to really get into Nerf. Well, not like breaking the bank. But. I can see the the lines here. I don't, I don't know if they did that on purpose, but on the blue, you can actually kind of see the 3D print lines or the injection mold lines. I don't know. I don't know. You have this nice little arrow here pointing you to the only cool feature of the gun. 
The plastic is flimsier than any other rival blaster I have seen or felt. On most parts. I mean, there's not really much you can do with this grip. It's hollow for the mag to go in. So if you want something like this, you're going to have to handle the repercussions. But that feels really good. That's really good. Reload this fast. You can pop up at any time. But there's this problem. You hit right here. You kind of have to use some force, but if you drop this while the thing's open, you're going to, like, jam up your blaster. And then some of you around. You may double load. You may just not. Also, watch out for this issue. Normal. The, this cool ridge goes forward normally. And this goes backwards. Remember that now. That'll be on the test. So, if you do the good old flip, It'll not feel as good. Now that I do it slow, you can feel it bulge. You can see it bulge, right? Oh my, oh my. And that is doom. It was extremely hard. Like I had to use, I had to sit on the bed there rip it out before but now it's a bit better I would not if you had the choice between this and the Aeon Pro X definitely choose the Aeon Pro X this is not nearly as worth the Aeon, like the money as the Aeon Pro X but it's a pretty good blaster I like it, it even with its like massive flaws, it's quirky, it's fun. I almost loaded the mag in backwards again. Very easy to do. Anything else I need to talk about? Oh yeah, rival painted on one side, a divot in the other. So I guess if you wanted to grab it like this, like it, like like it's a T style handle. But if you did, you could feel oh. That is not good. At the very end, you can feel it flexing. That's not good. I want to try this. Is it this smooth with the other one too? upside down you get the point there's not really much else to say this this is pretty good I like it limited options paint job ain't spectacular them iron sights are really good though this is this is very accurate um yeah there's not really much else to say if you want a better review Go to someone like Walcom S7. He does better reviews than I ever could because he has a studio and production quality and all that jazz. So yeah, my second attempt recording this video, and it worked. Yippee. So with that said, I have my mouse right here. Hold on, hold on. I'm gaming. And with that said, this has been Dream Master, and I'll see y'all next.